We have reached the All-Star break in Season 1 of the Red Sox franchise. David Ortiz makes the home run derby. Not sure if he actually ends up winning it. He was also our only representative on the All-Star team. I think Koji Uehara and Dustin Medoria just missed based on the fan voting, but uh, Ortiz was the only one to get in there. He was a starter batting ninth. He's still putting up ridiculous numbers, uh, like 33 home runs and a 10-something OPS. But either way, we're one and a half games back at this point in time, one and a half games back of the Toronto Blue Jays. And you can see here a very brief um, kind of update on who's doing well and who's struggling a little bit in the minor leagues for full kind of details on who's doing well and who's not. Check out the GM's notes in the uh, description below. Also, take a look at that. David Wright got traded to the Toronto Blue Jays. So the Blue Jays turning into a pretty uh, lethal contender, it seems. Um, I'm not sure if Wright really feels a need. I think Brett Lowry might be playing second base for them now because um, second base is a big need for them. But either way, it's not important. So GM's notes in the description below, just based on uh, it, just trade deadline stuff, um, getting your input on what positions you think need upgrades um, for full stats on guys and stuff like that, and you know spots that I feel we need upgrades on. Go check them out, um, and that's largely what they'll uh, be basing whatever moves you make at the deadline, which is going to be coming up in the next episode. So either way, John Lester takes on James Shields in this ball game here from Fenway Park, the first game back from the All-Star break. Red Sox versus Royals, second pitch of the game. I'll see it as Escobar lays down a beautiful bunt on the third baseline. Middlebrooks cannot get a hand on it. I was going to say glove, but he did try to barehand it. So that is a leadoff single for Alcides Escobar. Now the next batter is Omar Infante. And Infante is going to line this one down the left field line for a base hit. Nava over to play. It plays it nicely and holds Escobar at second. So it will be a single for Omar Infante. So two men on now with no one out. And the number three hitter, Eric Osmer, coming up. Actually, I believe Butler was the three hitter. He got out. So the four hitter, Osmer, is up. Ground ball to first to second for one. On to first, not in time. Osmer beats it out, but he does ground to a fielder's choice. So first and third, two away. Now Alex Gordon will be your next batter. And he's going to ground this one to Middlebrooks at third. Fires to Bedoria at second, and that will retire the side. So Lester escapes the jam, and we will head on to the bottom of the first. Take a look at the Red Sox lineup. Pretty standard lineup, same lineup as last episode, I do believe, with Pedroia in the three-hole, Navas two, and Victor in a one. James Shields is your starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals. Uh, only five and seven, but the record is misleading. Uh, almost a four-to-one strikeout to walk ratio and a 3.38 ERA with like a 1.2 whip or something like that. But anyway, he serves up a home run to Daniel Nava. Nava getting things started with that homer out over the Green Monster takes the away pitch or the down and away pitch and drives it the other way over the green monster utilizing that 37 and a half foot wall to his advantage so here we go now later in the inning two two out one man on napoli will fly this one out to right field justin maxwell is under it he'll make the play and that will retire the side so we're on to the top of the third here lorenzo kane up he will lead off the inning and he grabs the one past the glove of will middlebrooks that will go into left field for a base hit nava fires in the second but kane is on with a leadoff hit here in the top of the third inning now the number, I believe this is actually Escobar back up again. He is going to end up grounding this one to second, just under the glove of Pedroia. was pretty surprised to see Pedroia not actually get to that one. He is a gold glove caliber second baseman, and he usually makes those plays. But either way, now two men on. Once again, no outs, and Infante up. He already has one hit today. Let's make it two. That's a base hit back up the middle. It actually hits the pitcher's rubber and goes about 50 feet in the air. Sizemore, no chance at getting the runner coming around to score, and we'll take a look at the replay on it. This one hits off of the pitcher's rubber and just bounces extremely high in the air. No chance for Sizemore to make a play on it, as you can see. So now two men on, one man out, Eric Osmer at the plate. First pitch of the AB from Lester. He will deal out of the stretch, and that's another base hit back up the middle, but for some reason the runner holds. I guess they didn't want to test Grady Sizemore's noodle arm, but either way, I'm not going to complain. So the bases are now loaded. Two batters later, Salvador Perez is up, and Salvador Perez in his 99 contact versus lefties cannot get it done great play by Bogart who fires it from the hole and gets Perez at first and that will get Lester out of the ending so a beautiful play by Xander Bogarts, and the score remains 1-1. One one. Now Dustin Pedroia up in the bottom of the third inning, and he strikes out swinging. James Shields had his A game today. He really looked good for a majority of the ball game. Top of the fourth inning, Justin Maxwell up, and he goes down on the cutter. Great strikeout pitch right there from John Lester, and now later in the inning, still top four, 0-2 counts to Lorenzo Cain. He goes down, this time looking on a two-seam fastball. It looked like it was... I guess Kane thought it was a little bit low, but it looked to be at the knees. So now our next batter in the inning is going to be Alcides Escobar. Runner goes. The throw down to second is low, but in time. A great sweep tag by, or a swipe tag, I guess, whatever you want to call it, by Dustin Medroya. And that will get Lester out of the innings. We're on to the top of the fifth. Escobar up. And Escobar, another little slow rolling single. And he is now three for three on the day here. 
So a good start to the day for Alcides Escobar. Next batter is Omar Infante. And Lester gets Infante to ground into the 6-4-3 double play. And that will make it two away in the inning. So a good ground ball inducing pitch right there from Lester, which really settled in after a couple of rough endings. Now, one-two count to Eric Osmer. He goes down swinging on the 93-mile-an-hour heater. Don't know how a Hosmer didn't hit that one, but either way. Bottom of the fifth now, Grady Sizemore at the dish to get things going here. And he's going to get hit by a pitch right there by James Shields. Doubt it was intentional, but we're going to take advantage here with the man on. Next batter, Shane Victorino. He's going to go to the opposite field with this one into the right center field gap. That will be tracked down by Maxwell, but Sizemore gets into third easily, and Victorino actually advances to second, so it will be a one-out double here, setting up some runners on second and third with just one out. Next batter is Daniel Nava, and Nava is going to take that pitcher, gets away from the catcher, Perez. Or Perez, I always struggle with like silly mis or name pronunciations like that. Like, I always say, like, Perez instead of Perez or something. But either way, um, now that run scores. So it's 2-1, to 3-2 count to Daniel Nava. And he works a beautiful walk right there. Nava got behind in the count 1-2. and two, But take a look at the replay here. We're going to go over each pitch. And he really had some great takes by the end of it. You can see takes strike 1, swings at strike 2. Now takes ball 1. He's going to take ball 2 on the inside corner. Ball 3 will be on the outside corner. And ball 4 right back where ball th uh, 2 was. Very close, so he actually gets behind 0-2 in the count and works his way back. Now first and second with one out, and Pedroia is going to ground to short for or to second for one onto first, and Pedroia cannot beat it. So it looks like the walk to Nava actually played into the hand of James Shields as he induces Pedroia to go into the 6-4-3 double play, and that gets Shields out of the inning. So you can see 10 hits for the Royals, but they've only mustered one run so far. Red Sox, on the other hand, have two runs on six hits, and they have the lead so far. 2-1 is the score. So top seven, Alcides Escobar up, and Escobar is going to bloop this one into center field. That will fall, and Escobar now 4-4 four for four on the day. The first time he's actually gotten the ball out of the outfield, but either way, he will take the four hits. And now Omar Infante up the first pitch of the AB, and here is another 6-4-3 double play the second time on the day that Infante is grounded into a double play. So Lester works his way to the seventh, and that would do it. We're going to get to the bottom or the top of the eighth here. Junichi Tozawa will come on in and try to set it up for Koji Uehara. So first batter of the inning is Billy Butler, 3-2 count, and he induces Butler to pop this one up into foul territory. Napoli over, he will make the play, and that's going to do it for Tozawa. we got a couple lefties coming up, so we're going to go to our other setup man, Craig Breslow. He's going to come in. He's had a bit better of a year than Tozawa, but neither have really had great years so far. Both of the ERAs over 3.5. So, first batter he's going to face is Eric Osmer. And Osmer hits that one into the left center field gap. That's going to get all the way to the monster hitting off the scoreboard. Sizemore over to play it. He will get it into the cutoff, man. But it is a one-out double for Eric Osmer. So now the tying run is that second. The go-ahead run has come to the plate. Norichi Aoki up. And the runner actually steals third there. And I was only half paying attention. I end up making a... Stupid choice to throw it a second there. So now runner on third with one out. Nuri Aoki up. He's going to ground this one to the third baseman. Middlebrooks plants and fires home and the throw is in time. And Will Middlebrooks might have just saved the game for the Red Sox right there. Score remains 2-1. to one. Later in the inning, Syriaco up and he lines one right to Middlebrooks who makes the catch. And that will retire the side. And the Red Sox hold on to a 2-1 to one lead. Now Lewis or Louis Coleman. I'm just going to call him Louis Coleman or Lou Coleman. I didn't even know. Comes in now. I like I said. I, I get kind of stupid pronunciation, you know, failures like that. But either way, um, that is a ground ball to the second baseman. Bad throw by Infante takes Osmer off the bag, and Victorino will reach safely. Now he advances up to second base. Three to count. Nava works his second walk of the game. He's been on base three times now. Great game so far out of Daniel Nava. First and second. For Dustin Bedoya, 2-1 count, and he's going to ground this one to the third baseman to second for one, on to first, and it's the second double play of the game for Dustin Bedoya. He has not have a great, he has not had a good go of things so far tonight, but David Ortiz up next, and he's going to take this one over the head of Alcides Escobar for a base set. Run will come around and score, and the Red Sox extend the lead to 3-1. to one on the bat of David Ortiz. Beautiful piece of inning right there. So Aaron Crow's going to come on in and try to, uh, I guess, halt the bleeding here for the Kansas City Royals. After a pinch runner, Jonathan Herrera came in and stole second. Napoli strikes out, swinging on the slider away. So we're going to head to the top of the ninth. Red Sox up by two. Shut down closer. Koji Uehara on to try and shut this game for the Boston Red Sox. So first batter of the inning will be Justin Maxwell, the 0-1 count. And Maxwell's going to hit this one to the first baseman. And now I did not mean for Napoli to come that far out. I wish Uehara would just make the play there and have Napoli stay at first. But the computer controlled Napoli enough to have him come out that far that he just had to commit to it. So 
Either way, the next batter is going to be a base hit. That is by Lorenzo Kane. So men on first and second now. Go ahead, run comes to the plate. It's Alcides Escobar, and he lays down another bunt. And that is Alcides Escobar's fifth hit of the day. Four of them have not even gotten out of the infield. Two bunt singles. Just quite the sneaky day for the speech to Alcides Escobar. Next batter is Infante. He hits it to left, and Nava completely misplays it. Tying run is going to come around. Here comes the go-ahead run. The relay to home will be not in time. And the Kansas City Royals take the lead by a three-run double by Omar Infante. Next batter is Billy Butler, and the bleeding's not going to stop there. Nava will get this one on a hop, throw it into third base for some reason. But first and third now with still no one out in the inning. Next batter is going to be Eric Osmer. He will come up, and that's going to do it for Koji Uehara. Andrew Miller will come on in and try to get the Sox out of the inning. Osmer up. First pitch of the AB. That one is left over the plate. It's a deep right field, and it's going to one-hop just in front of the warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Now second and third, Gerard Dyson pinch hits. He is in, or pinch hits. He is in the game. That's going to be a fly out to Victorino, but he drops it. Now another one's going to come around and score. Dyson up to second. Osmer to third. Now second and third. Still no outs. And the score is, I believe, now 6-3. to three. Royals on top. And now we're going to bring in Edward Mujica. See if he can get someone out here. Still just one out in the inning now. It is Pedro Siriaco at the dish. The former Red Sox. And he hits it back up the middle for a base hit. Sizemore is charging. He will fire it home. The throw is not in time. A great slide by Dyson to evade the swipe tag by A.J. Pruszynski, and it's 8-3 to three Royals. Now Lorenzo Kane up a 2 outs, 0 2 count. He flies this one to deep center. Sizemore tracking. He will make the play, and the Red Sox are finally out of the inning, but not before seven runs come home for the Royals. Now Aaron Crow on to try and save the game. No Greg Holland tonight. Not a safe situation anymore after that inning. And Pruszynski grounds the shortstop. Escobar on to first in time, and the Royals complete a come-from-behind victory and win the first game back from the All-Star break. That's going to do it. Hope you guys did enjoy that really awful collapse by the Red Sox. Thanks for watching, and it does them out. Peace.